Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 27th of August 2020 and the time has just gone 11.46 British summer time. And this, week, this week's Chart of the Week is Brent Crude Oil, the October contract. Um, first things first, let's take a look at the, uh, the price action over the last few months. Uh, we can see here uh, at the market, basically turned around in late April after the brutal sell-off that was, that was incurred on the back of the the uh, pandemic. It's been pushing higher since late April. Only last week, I apologize, only um, in the first week in August, uh, it hit a five month high. Um, since then, it's, it's remained in the upward trend, but hasn't actually retested um, the, the five month high. But yesterday and the last couple of sessions, uh, the highs that have been achieved have not been too far away from it. Um, so we're currently trading around $40, and 60, 60 odd cents. The highs that were achieved at the beginning of the month are in around $46.23. So we're not too far away from the recent highs, which in turn are multi-month highs. Um, if we do manage to take out the August highs, that could put us on track for this price area here, at the lows of early, of early March, in at $46.67. And, and, and if we go beyond that, uh, the next area to keep an eye out for will be, I suppose, be the $50 a barrel level, the big kind of psychological number. Now, if we take a look at the price action in the last few months, we can see that kind of buying on the dip has been a fairly popular strategy with traders. So if we do see any pullbacks, we could see potentially see fresh buyers enter the fold. So if we do move lower from here, uh, we could we could find some support from this blue line here at the 50-day moving average. Notice how uh, just north, you know, in that general area acted nicely as support in late July, and also the lows of late-ish, mid to late August, uh, didn't actually quite get as low as the 50-day moving average, but there it got down to that general area. So if we do have a, have a move back down toward this blue line, which comes into play at $43.75, that could potentially act as support. And even if you go below that, support could be found from this zone here, um, the lows in uh, the lows which come into play um, in the middle at uh, $41.72. And that's, that's, that's the lows um, from late July. But we can see here that that uh, the kind of $42 area also acted as support as, as a region as well. So keep an eye out for uh, $42 down to kind of $41.72. And uh, if we do happen to have a, a fairly decisive break below that, we could see support come into play from this zone here in at 40 bucks per barrel, which of course would be kind of a big psychological number. Now, keep an eye, off, keep an eye off for the um, weather, uh, adverse weather that, that's uh, that's um, enveloping in the in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, essentially, oil workers have been flown out of, of the um, some of the rigs uh, that are operating in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, th there's talk that Tropical Storm Laura has been Laura has been upgraded to a to Hurricane Laura, so um, that region uh, has uh, has come under pressure in terms of adverse weather. Part of the reason for the, for the move upward move in the oil market. Also during the week, um, U.S. Um, energy stockpiles have been in decline. Uh, on Tuesday, the American Petroleum Institute report API numbers showed that U.S. oil stockpiles fell by 4.5 million barrels. That was an increase on the previous week, where they fell by 4.3 million. And only yesterday, um, the, e, the the Energy Information Administration, the EIA report, showed that. Uh, both oil and gasoline stockpiles both fell by uh, but by larger than they, they had been expected. So the kind of pressure is building building um, to the upside, but but, but we but we really yet to actually take out the most recent highs. So if we do take out the most recent highs, that could have put us on track for the lows of March. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking heading up towards 50 bucks per barrel. Uh, if you are trading oil today, or to be honest, any. Of the financial markets today, keep an, keep an eye out for Jerome Powell. He's the head of the Federal Reserve. He's speaking um, uh, at a very close at the Jackson Hole Symposium um, at 14:10 British Summer Time. So whatever Mr. Powell has to say, he's likely to reiterate the view that the Federal Reserve is going to do what it takes to assist the U.S. economy. But please, please keep an eye out for that update because it's likely to add volatility. That's all from this video. Stay safe. Have a good trading week and good luck.